having the opportunity to have this building that was on the cutting edge of automotive technology in 1910, bring it forward today and preserve that history and heritage for the next generation I is very important to me. I'll give you a tour of the outside of the building. The first thing I wanted to point out was the roof. There are very few people across the state that are aware of these types of buildings, but Ted O'Dell is a car enthusiast. The idea will be to uh, build a, a facade replica of Henry Ford's Mack Avenue plant in Detroit, and I knew instantly this was the building I had to have. And then found out later all the history that goes into that building. I think it's gonna be a wonderful community space for wedding receptions, off-site corporate meetings. It'll make a beautiful historic space for automotive history fans, that's for sure, because there's been four different automobiles that were manufactured right here in this facility. These buildings that are of this age, either we'd get them and put them back together and put a new life on them or they're gonna go away. Today, people are really into industrial heritage and history in general. More and more historical sites are finding ways to draw in younger people. And what's really important now is that I think you see a lot of people who are migrating back to populated areas, the cities, and they like, uh, they like these old brick buildings and they like the character of the building. This particular building is literally two blocks from downtown, and I think it's just poised to be a new hot spot for Jackson. And look, you got your own waterfall. I know, that cost extra. His passion is amazing, but you can, you can sort of feel it in his gut. I think he really is passionate about, about that mission of sharing with, with everybody so that they know what the, what the past was. And the idea is that we would actually have a teaching shop back here with a car lift for students who are studying uh, historic automobile restoration techniques. We're looking for people who enjoy history and automotive heritage, and we're asking for their help to save this building because we believe this place matters. Preserving and promoting our automotive and labor heritage for Michigan and the city of Jackson is important. It's not just celebrating brass era cars, but it's celebrating in many respects this era of cars, this century type of cars that were fueled by gasoline, that were manually operated, and that's all changing. And those folks who are interested in helping us on this project, I would encourage them to visit our website, HackettAutomuseum.com or Facebook. Help us preserve this building because this place does matter. Mm -hmm.